welcome to pavitra laptop care see from today onwards it's very very important sessions because you have to do some more hard work okay till now what you have done so how to do the word format and excel format and what voltage will be converting to what voltage so those things you understood right so now what we are going to do so step by step you have learned uh, of an hour uh, videos i mean one hour videos those things you have already seen right now i won't do like that i will do part by part part in the sense which one is the first which one is the second and order wise and so on okay now i will take a hp laptop schematic and in that what will be the input the basic one is input and what we have to understood understand in that those things i am going to tell you so let's beginning today is the hp and next in upcoming uh, videos you will get all brands dell hp lenovo acer and toshiba and all okay all will be common first we'll complete the hp the model number is l a e 801p okay first i will take this one see now i took this what the model number here is the compel confidential compel has made this schematic what the model the project code this is very very important it's a project code is csl50 it's a number 1 ckl50 number 2 and one more is there see here cdl50 total three models are included all three are almost same schematic okay this is the first part its a part number is la e 791p la dash e 801p and la iphone d 701p okay for all this the same schematic the first point we come to know the adapter section dc jack okay for that what we have to do we have to find the charger type just charger enter enter here is the charger point from this charger you need to go little up it's a 48 page i'll make it as enable see if you come to up here is the dc jack pins it contains it's a 1 to 8 uh how it looks like see for that you need to go to google see here is the dc jack images so which one is ours here is the dc jack here multiple pins are there see it's a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 3 plus 4 in between one is there but it's not connected total eight pins are there right so in our schematic total eight pins it looks like this here is the connection here is the light and from here total 8 cable has gone to motherboard section see here now number 1 and 2 is the red wire see here is the number 1 and 2 red wire 3 and 4 the black one 3 and 4 black one fifth one is not connected right here fifth one is not connected Sixth one adapter signal number six one is adapter signal. It's adapter ID. One signal will goes right. So how uh, wattage? I mean, how much wattage you have used here? So forty uh, five watt or sixty five watt or ninety watt. So that one that's called its adapter ID. Okay, that is a pin. It's a brown color one. Next one seven one. charge led seventh one yellow one is the charge led see yellow one is the charge led 
and eighth one ac in led when you connect the adapter no that indicator eighth one okay here is the dc jack that's it once you connect this is the motherboard part once you connect here one and two will come to this esd part here also esd part is given if any over voltage comes then this one will get burn it will protect your system okay now the first and second one is the red wire it combined here and it's coming to this coil here for the voltage name 19v adp in after this coil this became as 19v in okay the first voltage what we got it's a 19v in the first voltage in the motherboard 19v underscore in right yes plus 19v underscore v in through this coil is coming what this capacitor uh, capacitors are doing here it's filtering the unwanted ac signals it will completely charge and reflect it the positive will go upside and it will come to this part okay 19 v in here 3 and 4 is the ground it means in positive negative from the adapter as connected to the motherboard fifth one it's not connected sixth one is the adapter signal see the adapter signal it means the same cable has connected here also so it has connected here and it's coming from here to here and through the 10k it's going to adapter id the named as adapter id and going to io see what are the things we got here is the one voltage and next adp underscore i adp underscore id id is the wattage information how much of watt it has it's a 65 or 45 or 90 watt or 120 watt like that information gives to io okay it will pass the information to the io here is the complete dc jack see here one uh, register has given if you consider this is the source then here is the voltage divider if you are getting 3 volts or some other volts here then this will become as a voltage divider through that voltage divider voltage the amount of the remaining voltage is going to the adapter id as a adapter id to io okay here something has given here channel charger i charger led and ac in led what is that ac led see ac in led it's coming from the ac underscore led ash this is from the io hmm? here bad charge led charge led is there no when you connect the battery it will charge in that case the orange color will blink so that is coming from the io 26 pages io so now here one zener diode also given zener diode it will work through reverse bias also regarding this zener i will explain in future topics okay here the two capacitors for filtering purpose has given total what we got we got 19 volts v in and adapter id this is a signal going to the io and this one is main voltage coming to the motherboard from the dc jack where it has connected 19v in that you need to copy from here control c and control f control v just you search it see the next section is charger here is the charger section this is the charger section it has come to ac detect part see here ac detect right as a voltage divider see here this is the source and destination is the ground 
R2, R1, this is a voltage divider, the amount voltage is going to the AC detect. Means here the voltage should be more than 3.2 volts. Okay, uh, sorry, 2.4 volts. More than 2.4 volts. One thing is it's going to the AC detect. Second one is it's coming to this diode and here from this diode it's going to the pin number 20 VCC so here if it is 19 volts 0.7 volts will get drop the diode characteristics according to the diode characteristics here you will get 18.3 volts that one going to pin number 20 okay next here <coughs> it will come to the first MOSFET of drain here it will come and it will stack okay and here it will come and it will stack here capacitor will charge and it will oppose this so pin number 5 having 19 volts now that's it so 19 V in how it came and where it has connected that we came to know this is the first voltage got my point this is the first voltage so in next section so where it has gone and what voltage is generating here the charges section that is the second part the charges section we will discuss in the next video thank you thank you very much